we've made it to the airport. We are leaving the Puglia region today, but we are not leaving Italy. We are actually heading to Sicily. Sicily, here we come. Well, I was gonna get some cool shots of us flying into Sicily, but that's my view. So, never mind. We have made it to Sicily, we have our trusty vehicle, and we are headed out to explore. But not today, because it's really gross out. It might be pouring down rain and there's lightning in most directions, but the scenery is still really beautiful. Good morning, adventurers. Good morning. So as you saw in our little intro, we made it to Sicily. This is mm -hmm. actually the last leg of our Italian road trip. We actually came all the way out to the eastern side to the coast, as you can see. That's Mount Etna, right yeah. back there. We came to this town called, I think it's pronounced Tormina, but it's a coastal town that's on the base of Mount Etna. So all around the city, you can just look out and see the mountain in all its glory over there, but it is covered by a little bit of cloud cover today. Yes. But it was quite a trek to get up to this town because it's not at sea level. It is way above sea level, kind of carved into the mountainside. We came to this little garden area that's just on the outskirts of the town. Come here if you want some spectacular views with barely any people. Yes. The gardens are amazing. They're really well kept and uh, super beautiful to and just stroll through. absolutely free to enter. So they have a lot of different parks and viewpoints here and all sorts of things with great views. Some of them you have to pay for though. But this is a great free first stop. So I think we're gonna stroll around the park a little bit and then explore the town and eat some food because yes. we have yet to have breakfast. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. We just stumbled onto this shop where he's making these amazing tabletops. And he let us come in and just learn a little bit about how it works. Look how intricate some of these are. It's got all these cityscapes and the mountain in the background with the the steam coming out. That's very cool. I wish we had a place where we lived. Yeah. It's I times would... like these when, I mean, it'd be sick to just have a piece that he worked on by hand. Yeah, I took a car just in case one day. Yes. <laughs> we have a very special dessert that we will be getting, but first we needed lunch and Eric spotted this adorable little cheese and meat shop that has all these little takeaway items. We ended up coming back to that uh, park that, where we started the video and found a nice little spot to chill and eat our little lunch that we found. <laughs> Got an epic view of the coastline over there. You can see some of the mountain off in the distance. We thought the cloud cover was going to dissipate, but it hasn't yet. But it's still a beautiful view. A lot of little shops like that that we've seen just have a bunch of little individual food items that you can kind of mix and match and create your own perfect plate. We got some cauliflower, some aubergine pepper, there's some zucchinis under there, and I am probably gonna try this little guy. It is a spinach little ricotta fritter, I guess. It's deep fried. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's so much cheese in there. Mm-hmm. That is delightful. It's a little fried ball goodness. <laughs> there's some spinach, cheese, it's a little salty. It's not too crispy anymore because it's been sitting for a second, but it's still absolutely delicious. This dish that I got is pasta al forno, and I believe that's just when it's baked pasta. Tomato, some meat in there. There's a little bit of greens in there, and it looks just nice and hearty and cheesy and delicious. Is that egg? Is there egg? I think that looks like a hard boiled egg yolk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. I'll take it. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Wow. Mm <laughs> hmm. That's delicious. It's cheesy. It's meaty, it's savory, tomato-y. It's an absolute delight. <laughs> well, I can say everything that we got is absolutely delicious. It's so flavorful. Everything yeah. is flavorful. Even all the, all the veggies I got, every single one is so different and unique tasting, yeah. but so yummy. But we are going to finish the rest of this and then we have a date with dessert, y'all. So that's where oh, we're yeah, heading we to do. next. have gotten our dessert. This little cutie right here is a granita. It is just sugar, ice, and then whatever flavoring you want on top. We mixed and mashed ours. I got almond, raspberry, and then they put cream on there. And it's from Sicily, but it's, I think it's a little bit like Italian ice or sorbet is what it's gonna be the texture. They serve it with this little brioche bun. Ah, 
And we got coffee, yes, of got course. Coffee. And look, they gave us the cutest little face on it. <laughs> I love that. But so apparently you get this bun and then you either dip it into your granita or you, I guess, rip off a piece of this and put it on top. I, I think it's hotly debated how you're supposed to do it. <laughs> try to get a little bit of everything. I'll try it without the brioche first because I feel like I just want to get the taste of it. Put that in your bag. Whoa. There is so much flavor in that. Really? Oh my gosh. It's raspberry. It's really thick, almost like raspberry puree, pretty much. It tastes like frozen raspberry jam. Yeah. And, and all the fruit here is fresh, right? It's all fresh, so it's only what's in season is what they sell. So everything is super delicious and legit. Also, this is just some freshly whipped cream on top. For some reason, I thought they were meaning like they were gonna put milk in there or something. Nope, it's just this amazing, delicious light layer of cream. I went with the kiwi and the strawberry and then she put the little bit of cream on top there. You can see how fluffy and just a little bit thick the cream is. There's a little bit of mass to it. I'm gonna dig all the way down and get a bit of everything. That might be too, yeah. <laughs> is it really cold? It's pretty, it's cold, but it's decadent. All right. Mm. Oh, that is so good. Jeez, that's decadent. Holy cow. I mean, like you said, the fruit is super fresh, and that cream is amazing on there. Wow, it's really thick, too. Holy cow, I tasted Allison's. <laughs> I thought mine was good. You win. Okay. That is I amazing. Thought, I was about to say, this is one of the most magical frozen desserts I've ever had in my life. The raspberry, the almond, and the cream go together so well. It's so milky and so delicious. <laughs> Get this one right there if you come here. You will not be disappointed. No. Now for our little brioche guy. It looks like a nose. I just see a nose. I'm just gonna rip his nose off. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a weird combination. It seems, yeah. Okay. It's good. It's a really good bria. I think I'd like it better with the coffee. It's weird because it's kind of like a buttery dinner roll consistency. And then You're with this super to dip that in with that? That's oh, what it I seems hear. so or, strange. Or this way, I guess. Let us know in the comments below which you prefer, dipping or covering. But that is enough with desserts and stuffing our faces. We have some ruins to go see. Oops, I realized we forgot to say the name of this place. It's called Bambar. I feel like we often forget to say the names of the places we come to, but we try to always link them in the description below. So if we don't yes. say it, look down there. Okay, now to ruins. As you travel around Tormina, you're gonna see a lot of giant heads just like this of all different shapes, colors, and sizes. Some are plain like this, some are more ornate. And we were really curious why that was, so we looked it up. Many people believe it goes back to the story of this woman who fell in love with this man. It turns out that the man back home had a family that he didn't tell her about, so she murders him in his sleep, cuts off his head, puts his head out on her balcony, and puts flowers in it, turns it into a vase. All the people passing by were so jealous of how well the plant was doing. I think it was basil or something like that. They were so jealous that people started to make their own heads out of ceramic and then put them on their balconies. It's really just a beautiful love story at the end of the day. Yeah, it really is. So now you know. Made it to the theater. This thing is in quite a state of ruin. It's so overgrown and destroyed, but there's still a surprising amount of it left. They have all these seats that they put here so you can kind of get more of a sense of what it was like. And it's really not that crowded. No, it's uh, the afternoon on a Thursday. There are a couple groups here, but we're in November. So I imagine during the summer months, it'd be a lot more crowded. I'm really sad though. You're supposed to get epic views of Mount Etna, but I think it's too cloudy. I mean, these are still epic views of amazing ruins, so I can't be too upset. Y'all, we have just been sitting here for the past few minutes just taking in the views, and it is just yeah. blowing me I mean, away. Look at this. It's spectacular. We were just imagining back in the day you would be sitting here at this Roman pristine amphitheater, Mount Edna off over here castle on the hill up here. People fighting to the death yeah. in the pit down there. I think they actually did proper fights, like gladiator style fights at one point in time here. And fun fact, this is still a functioning theater. Which, oh yeah. Yeah, we didn't really realize that, but that's why they have all this wooden seating built up and they have some lighting fixtures and stuff like that. So they actually have performances here. 
I think I like this better than the Coliseum. <laughs> I think I do too. The, I mean, the yeah. view is insane, you the guys. Views you get are to just see so, so much more. Beautiful. Okay, this is officially one of the coolest views ever. We've got the volcano front and center in front of us and you can see I think it's actual steam coming out not just clouds some of it's clouds maybe I don't know it is fantastic when we left the uh, theater it was completely clouded over you couldn't even see it yeah, and now, now look at it it's crystal perfect. clear oh yeah that is very neat Well, we weren't really going to go up on Mount Etna, mainly because the temperature has dropped dramatically. We were hoping it wasn't going to be that cold, and we don't have any winter gear because it's no. too bulky to travel with. There was a huge storm the day we arrived to Sicily, and it dumped a bunch of snow up at the top. It's been super windy, the weather's been awful, but we keep driving past and it's so pretty, so we're going to take our chances and see how far up we can make it. As we have mentioned, Etna is a very active volcano. It has had quite a few eruptions over the last hundred years. And as you drive up the mountain, you'll see so much lava. You're basically just driving through a gigantic lava field. It's wild. It goes kind of from forest land and neighborhoods all of a sudden just black fields of lava like this with their these amazing colorful trees in there, at least now because it's fall. Yeah, Ugh. it's so weird because you get these pops of color in the middle of all this blackness. Yeah. One of the craziest things is that as you drive around, you can see a bunch of houses that have been trapped in the lava and then abandoned. One of them was right on the side of the road and it was completely buried. It looks like it's <laughs> been there for who knows how long, but man, it's just completely swallowed by the lava. We put on as much clothes as we could because it got really cold, really windy, you guys. <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> It was 17 Celsius at the bottom, and now it's... Too windy. Oh, geez. Shield the mic. What? And now it's 8, and I think just insane winds. Yeah. <laughs> we saw a really beautiful lava field over here, and we're going to go try to check it out. That one, my, uh, we had crazy wind at the cliffs of Moher, which- yeah, I might've been up there with that. That was up where you couldn't even move. We're probably getting blown over now. Holy cow. <laughs> Everyone's ducking behind the barricade. <laughs> <laughs> And it, you open your mouth and it takes your breath away. It just fills you with air. It kind of scared me because oh. it felt like it was going to throw me off <laughs> the rocks. The All right, so we were just chatting and we were thinking, maybe we don't go up to the top yeah. if it's this windy My down My hands here. are already numb. <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, I'm glad we came. It's beautiful as you can see, but holy cow, it's crazy. We found this cute little guy who's just been roaming around here, <laughs> almost getting hit by cars. I don't know who he belongs to. Run out on the road, but look how regal he is. Yeah, this he's is pretty chill. Up. I mean, he's got a collar. He's got to belong to somebody. There's no name on it, though. You're not cold at all, are you, Pup? It's no sweetie, though. You guys, check this out on this postcard. I don't know if this is real or... I mean, it's a long exposure, so they're catching a lot of stuff. But, I mean, can you imagine if this mountain looked like that? Or if, these, if this all happened, even if it was over a long period of time, holy cow, this thing's a monster. Conveniently, there was a little cafe right next to that lava field. So we popped in for some very warm cappuccinos and a very warm croissant. Yeah. They didn't it's have any cream filled, didn't plain it? ones. Yeah, so we got cream filled. So we are having a very Italian breakfast on top of a freaking volcano. I mean, how does life get better? I don't know. <laughs> okay, but sadly, we are not going to get to go up to the top because it is just too extreme out here. Yeah, but if and it you, was so cold. It was so cold. If you guys have been here, um, let us know what month you came and what you thought about it and your like favorite route. If you hike it, if you take a tour, whatever, because there's so many options you can do. All right, goodbye, adventurers. We'll see you on the road.